Eric Norlander. I'm one of the developers of Syntronic. What is Syntronic, you might ask? Syntronic is a virtual instrument um, based on 44 classic hardware synthesizers. Uh, we started with this collection and then added a little bit to it. Um, we turned these 44 great hardware synths into 22 virtual instruments uh, to represent them. Okay, here's our VCF-3 based on the EMS VCS-3. Uh, the V80 based on the Yamaha CS80, SY1, SY2, and GX1 even. Uh, the T03 based on the Roland TB303, of course. Stringbox uh, is based on a bunch of classic string machines. Uh, the ARP String Ensemble, the Roland RS505 and RS09. Uh, the Honer String Performer, Univox Multiman, and Elka Rhapsody. I had to write it down to remember all those. The SHV, uh, which is based on the Roland SH5 and SH2. SAM, based on the famous Oberheim SEM synthesizer expander module that you find in the four voice and the two voice and all those great old Oberheim synths. The Pro V, based on the Prophet 5 and the Prophet 10. Polymorph. This is based on the Polymoog um, and also um, the realistic MG1 and the Moog Rogue as well. The OXA, based on the uh, legendary Oberheim OBXA. The Noir, this is based on the Multi Moog and the Micro Moog, which are some kind of special um, odd Moog synths that sound nothing like a Mini Moog to me. The M Poly, based on the Korg Mono Poly and Poly 6. Modulum, what the hell is a Modulum? Modulum is a drum synthesizer uh, that's built on samples uh, from the Moog Modular, the EMS VCS3 and the Alesis Andromeda all cross-patched together just to make really cool analog drum kits and, and analog percussion sounds all mapped to general MIDI. So you can just um, drop this in your DAW and program it like a normal drum kit. Mini Mod. This is based on the uh, legendary Mini Moog Model D and also the, uh, the Moog Modular. Memory V, based on the Memory Moog Polysynth. J60, based on the Roland Juno 60. J8, based on the Epic Roland Jupiter 8. Harp 20, <laughs> Harpy, sorry, <laughs> Harpy 260, based on the ARP 2600. Um, my favorite, the Galaxy, based on the Alesis Andromeda. DCOX, this is based on uh, the great Roland DCO based synths uh, from the 80s, the JX10, the JX8P, and the MKS70. Bully, based on uh, the famous Moog Taurus pedals. Blau, this is based on the, the PPG 2.2 and 2.3 classic wavetable synthesizers. And the 99, based on the Yamaha SY99, which is just one of the greatest FM synths of all time. So how does it work? Okay, well, let me load up the next demo. Synesthesia. You guys will notice that I even spelled synesthesia right, I think. Okay, cool. All right, so... Um, if you are a, a, an IK software user and you use Sample Tank 4, you'll recognize a very familiar browser. So we have our 22 synths on the left in the column here. So here's our 99, our Blau, our Bully, DCO, X, etc. Um, just going all the way down the list. And uh, how do you navigate through you know, the 2,000 plus presets that are in here? Well. You pick a synth you like, let's say the V80. Okay, that's a great one. And now we're only seeing presets from the V80. We can further sort by category, by timbre, uh, by style, even by musical genre and mood. How about that? Um, and there's also a favorite system. So you can pick the star and go, okay, well, these are the, my four favorites from uh, the V80. So let's load up Vangelina, this is like a famous Vangelis style brass. Cool. And every one of 
of the synths um, uses <coughs> sampled oscillators. Why would we use sample oscilla sampled oscillators? Well, for me, sample oscillators sound like the classic hardware synths because they are the classic hardware synths. When you hear, you know, samples of something like uh, the OBXA, for example, let's go here and let's go to our favorites. And when you hear the actual sampled oscillators, nothing sounds more authentic than the actual synth. <laughs> All right, so how did we do that? Um, that's more than just oscillators, of course. So after we, after we had uh, the huge sampled sound set of you know, more than 100,000 samples, we used IK's uh, leading edge modeling technology and we modeled uh, the most famous filters from classic synths. And then we made those available on every synth. So let's say, I don't know, you have a, a mini mode uh, sample set, for example. So let's load up this. Okay, and here's our mini mode, um, mini mod that is using um, samples from the classic mini mode. Um, every synth in Syntronic has all of the different modeled filters available. So here we are using the M-type filter based on the famous Bob Moog transistor ladder filter. Uh, we also have the R-type filter, which is based on um, the Roland chip filter that's in uh, the Jupiter 8 and the Juno 60, a uh, great OTA-based uh, filter. The C-type filter based on the famous Curtis chip filter that uh, you find in the Rev3 Prophet 5 and in the OBXA and so many other great synths. The O-type filter, which is based on the famous um, Oberheim SEM state variable filter, and then uh, some modern uh, digital filters as well, a phaser filter, a formant filter, and then the classic uh, sample tank VCF filter. Then for each filter, uh, you have modes. Uh, in the case of the state variable, we have low pass, band pass, high pass, and notch. But in some cases, uh, like for example, the, the, uh, the Curtis chip filter um, in the synths that we modeled only had a low pass mode. So we only give you low pass for that. Um, some of them uh, didn't have as many slopes as well. So for the M type filter, okay, we give you all four modes, low pass, band pass, high pass, and notch, 6, 12, 18, and 20, 24 dB slope. Uh, but then uh, the Roland filter, for example, the R-type filter, this was only 12 dB and 24 dB per octave. So we didn't bother to fake uh, the other slopes because it just wouldn't sound authentic. Um, okay, so we have our, our sampled oscillators through our modeled filters. Um, those go through an effects rack. And this is a 500 series style effects rack, um, just like the one you see in Sample Tank 4. In fact, uh, Syntronic came before Sample Tank 4, so the Sample Tank 4 effects are actually based on this Syntronic design. Uh, we have five slots, and you can put any effect in any slot. Uh, there are 38 total effects uh, that are taken from uh, T-Racks and from Amplitube, and of course from Sample Tank. Uh, you can put any effect in any slot. Uh, you can just drag them around if you want to change them. And uh, the collection of effects is pretty astounding. Uh, we go from, you know, guitar amps to, you know, distortion stomp boxes, uh, all the classics you'd expect to find. Um, you have a LP record effect. Uh, we have a whole slew of equalizers and compressors uh, from uh, T-Rex, uh, the Black 76 based on the famous Yuri 1176, the Model 670 based on the uh, Fairlight, Fairlight, Fairchild 670, um, great white 2A based on the Teletronics LA 2A, um, and then some great uh, EQs like our Channel Strip EQ which includes like a basic console EQ. So you've got your um, high and low shelf and then a sweepable mid. But then we also took um, 
a sub base EQ and a high air EQ uh, from the Poltec EQ uh, 1A tube EQ and put those on. So you, you have like the basic console EQ to do your normal EQing and then you have a separate sub and an air bend to really just add a lot of cool polish and you know, you know, master quality glow to the sound. Uh, of course, we have a bunch of reverbs and delays. Um, plate reverb, hall reverb that you'd expect, of course. Uh, we have a great tape echo, um, uh, of course, taken from t rex uh, and then a digital delay as well, like you'd expect. Uh, so the effects are, it's just a really cool way to just finalize um, your synth sound. So imagine taking, you know, your, your favorite 44 hardware synths and then running them through, uh, you know, just a stack of 500 series racks with basically any studio effect you want. That was our goal um, with this setup. Okay, so I, I've mentioned um, Sample Tank a few times, Sample Tank 4. Um, Syntronic is based on the Sample Tank engine. And when we added things like the modeled filters um, and the new effects, the new modeled effects like uh, the Ensemble, for example, this is a, an awesome effect uh, based on the ARP String Ensemble, um, Ensemble Chorus, and then also the Roland um, Juno 60 Chorus and the RS-505 Chorus. Um, so I went off on a tangent, but that's because uh, we built this on the Sample Tank engine, and so that's why all of the effects from Sample Tank Amplitude T-Rex are available. But then when we develop new technology for Syntronic, like the modeled filters and new effects, like this cool ensemble effect, we add those to, uh, to Sample Tank as well. So let's have a look at Sample Tank. Here it is. This is Sample Tank 4. Um, the Syntronic libraries, uh, or rather the Syntronic synths, can all be played in Sample Tank 4, um, and they appear in Sample Tank 4 as libraries. So when we go to our Sample Tank browser, okay, here's our normal Sample Tank browser. Here's uh, Sample Tank 4 Max with the thousands of presets and, and uh, tons of gigabytes of, of sounds that it comes with. Um, and then all the, all the expanded libraries, extended libraries beyond that, like Spaceport 77, Alternate Keys, Clavitube, Cinematic Percussion, all of these great libraries, Orchestral Percussion. Uh, here's Miroslav Philharmonic 2. Uh, this, of course, appears as a library within Sample Tank 4. And then here are all the Syntronic synths. So now, um, if you want to load a Syntronic synth into uh, Sample Tank 4, it just shows up as a library. So Blau shows up as a library. Okay, here's our icon, a little description telling us about the sound. We load that in. Okay, and we go back to our Sample Tank 4 set. And we're not hearing anything. Oh, if I unmute it, that'll help. course, Sample Tank 4 is uh, it's a 16-part instrument. So uh, I've loaded up eight different um, uh, presets from Syntronic here. I can load up to 16 if I want. I can mix and match between here's the Blau, here's the Bully, here's uh, the DCOX, um, Memory V, Poly M, the Mini Mod, the Noir, uh, and then here's the, uh, the Blau again. Okay, so let's put something else in there. Like, uh, oh, we've used the bully already. Okay, what's a cool one? Mini mod, module. Oh, modulum. Maybe we want a uh, drum kit. Okay, so we'll load up our drum kit into that. Um, and you can mix and match. Now, um, obviously, Sample Tank 4 doesn't have the same um, editing style as uh, Syntronic does, but it does have an. Uh, a, a very cool editing system uh, for any um, part that you have loaded. You click on the Edit Instrument tab over here, and then we have uh, the Sample Tank style um, editing window. And we have our, our filter, and we can select between all the different filter types here. Uh, we have our envelopes. We can switch between envelope one, envelope two. Uh, our 
various LFOs. Um, and then uh, here's our uh, velocity to modulation, our oscillator section. You can go between oscillator one and two here. Um, all the usual stuff. So this is a, a different way of approaching the Syntronic editing. So if you want a more, uh, you know, computer style um, editing interface, you can load up any Syntronic preset in Sample Tank 4, do your editing, and uh, of course save it back. Um, and then, not like Syntronic, but exactly the same as Syntronic, we have our, our five slot uh, 500 series style effects rack in sample tank and this is the really powerful thing so if we go uh, to our our main window in sample tank okay i have eight uh, syntronic presets loaded up uh, they're all assigned to different midi channels of course i can layer them all together if i want transpose them uh, pan them whatever um, but every one of these um, syntronic presets has its own five slot effects rack so if i go to uh, boardwalk for oscillator stereo sweep in the monopoly and I look at the effects rack okay there's five unique effects for that totally different than um, all the rest of them different than the mini mod set for example and uh, modulum okay that's pretty basic just uh, the channel strip and reverb but you can see the power of using Syntronic and uh, sample tank for together um, you can do your basic um, sound design and browsing and all that in Syntronic. And then when you want to do an, you know, an epic production with, with uh, 8, 10, 16 parts, uh, you can use Sample Tank 4 to just uh, load up as, as many as you like. Of course, you can use multiple instances of the plugins um, in your DAW. So you could have Sample Tank 4 with 16 uh, parts all with different Syntronic presets on them and then you could load up an instance of Syntronic and and have two or three more there as well so um, the possibilities are uh, pretty incredible uh, I should also mention um, there is uh, a arpeggiator just like Sample Tank 4 uh, in both um, this is a Fraser Ooh, with this arpeggiator there we go uh, so there's an arpeggiator in both Syntronic and Sample Tank 4. It has the same interface. So once you learn it uh, on one, uh, it's exactly the same on the other. Um, and there's just so much you can do. I can't really uh, say much more than that in, uh, in the short time I have here. But I'll be doing a, a Q&A in uh, a few minutes. So if you have any questions... Um, let me know. Thanks so much and have a good one.